Hello, hello, Flutterflow developers, hello, friends, and welcome to APX Flow YouTube channel. My name is Andre, and today we will talk about how having something like this, uh, some order, we can generate PDF with a receipt for that purchase and show something like this, like document formatted in uh, some narrow format, uh, fixed for a receipt, uh, receipt printing, for example. So today we will talk about how we can manipulate of uh, structure of our PDF document and how we can change format of page, how we can change margins and how we can send us that content from uh, Flutterflow to APX flow and to generate our receipt. So I will start with new project. APX flow was to connect very different services. I will select PDF and I will uh, name it PDF receipt demo. I have my PDF receipt demo project. So I created it. And now, as you can see, I have some white page, A4 format page, and I want to change size of that page. So what do I, what will I do? I will go to options and here I want to select a receipt as I have already pre-built a receipt template. Also, I can change this and hate manu manually. So I will have any, any um, required, any required lines. For example, I can set 24 uh lines of that document as you can see it automatically changed my document uh view how it how it look like uh and now i have uh, my page uh size it to selected size and now i want to build some structure i want to build some structure but before before as received by default have uh less uh measures usually i will reduce the dimensions that i have from from left and from right so i reduce margins and save and as you can see my document margins from left and from right is reduced if you don't like top margin for example and bottom margin you also can change it so let's start with some data for our receipt i will have a logo at the top of my receipt so i will use logo as image url okay uh next what i want to add i want to add the uh, company i will use company name some address some street and let's insert the content inside of my inside of my page so i will add some hidden here and i will insert a logo and i will place it in the into the center okay now we can have i don't know what it why it don't allow me let's let's go with logo uh, with the title first with heading and then we will add image here and now i will put it into center and company here so next what i want to do i want to put address here and for example this will be heading level four and it will also will be center and now i want to um, uh, show uh, date and time so i will create something like created uh, it will be string and i will use something like this for example and i will insert date here and now next step what i want to do now let's save my template uh next time what i want to do i want to uh, present my uh, products uh, products as some items list so what i will do i will add another field i will call it items for example and i select that it is array of objects save and now i can add fields to my items in array so i will have some name it will be string for example it will be a controller controller basic next i will add uh price it will be a number and it will be one two three dollars for example next it will be amount it will be number it will be one and next it will be uh, total so i will have a uh, number two uh, four six total now we can insert 
data table with a list of Z items to present them into my receipt. So I will start with data table. I select data source. I will put here, I, I will remove uh, titles, uh, uh, title row. So I don't want to put any meaningful names. So I will use like price and amount and I will show you what I want to do with the table, how I will cost customize it. So I want to remove the, this row. I want to fit the table to 100%, okay. What I also want to change, I want to change name of the element. So I will use item, it will be not so wide in my preview. I will do like this. And now I will go here and will put also amount value inside. So I will have item price, X item amount and equals my item uh, total, item total, something like this. And now I also want, to, we can check how it will look like, it will look like this. And what I want to do, for example, let's change, let's change font for my document. We will put something like Open Sans, for example. Okay, it's more like receipt look like. And now what we will do, we will uh, remove uh, remove table borders. So we set zero for table border. And now I will have my table with invisible borders. Next, maybe what I want to do, I want to add sign of dollar before my uh, numbers here uh, and here, uh, before my uh, currency uh, fields. I will save it. And also what I want to do, I want to insert a uh, format number like this and two for uh, item price and for item total function format for item total. So I will have this format here. As you can see, we have now such format looking more uh, more close to rece uh, real receipt. Now we, for example, we can make this ball and what I want to do, I want to align these to a um, right side. Uh, okay, let's save it. And next step, what I want to do, I want to insert a row after and I want to split cells here and I will manage these two cells and I will show total here. I want to show total and to show total, I will do next stuff. So I will do next stuff. I will place dollar here as we want to show it as a currency. I will use items field. And now I will uh, use map function. You can type this uh, everything manually or you can find it in uh, here in uh, functions. Uh, all functions is described what they are doing. So map will allow us to select our fields and we want to select total fields and then do some of our total fields and then format them as number of these uh, two uh, point uh, digits. And now I save my template. And let's check how it will look like. And as you can see, it shows us uh, total uh, in the bottom. Maybe I want to uh, make it uh, to bold and maybe I want to insert some row before. So I will have here some space before my total. And so you, you can add uh, more fields, more fields. I will just uh, add something like thank you for your purchase. And that will be all for our current, current template. We saved it and we can go to setup. So after I created this template, as you can see, I can change my borders. I can change my margins, as I mentioned. We can even reduce margin if you want, like this. We can increase margins. Yeah, we can manipulate a landscape or portrait, uh, portrait orientation. So now what we will do, we will integrate this template with uh, our photo full project. So to do this, we need to publish project in APIX flow and follow steps that uh, APIX flow will provide to us. Don't worry, your template don't go, not, not go somewhere. It, it's here, but you have here guide what to do next. So to do this integration, when it comes to more complex models, we usually recommend to use 
uh, custom action uh, integration. And also what this help us to do actually, it helps us to work with any uh, Photoful project. Uh, so it supports uh, basic projects, it supports uh, even free projects, uh, and uh, you can use custom actions inside free projects. So if you want to be testing like Photoful and or building some uh, side project uh, in a basic account or in free account, this approach will also work. So first of all, we will create a new data type a new data type here uh, and we will call it a pdf asset we copy its standard standard uh, type for all generated pdfs in uh, apx flow next what we need to do we will create items data type this is our items create data type from json and we copy json from here we add json create we have this data type next we need to create uh, custom action so we go to code add action and here we will paste name generate pdf next i copy content of my uh, custom action and add it right here okay i add it right here and now i save my action click yes as you can see it automatically parsed all uh return values and uh, input values and etc so here we will have uh we will have uh everything ready to uh work with our uh logic flow it is our uh flow of uh our ui so what we have here uh, actually you will have some like ui where you, where you create um, some like basket structure and you add objects and etc i will go more in a more simple way i will go and create a new app state variable uh i will call it a product and i will use data type uh items it will be at least create so we have this products list and what we will do next when we click checkout button checkout button we will add uh, to that a list uh, update app state update app state we will add to products and we will uh, add to list we will create a new data type object items and we will set here all the fields we will add name controller basic at field price let's go with this price amount to uh total two four six confirm confirm and we have controller pro so we will add another step uh update app state add item to list add to list create new data type object name controller pro Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, add field price 200, amount one, total 200. So we have our items inside our list. And next, what we will do, we will actually uh, set, uh, we will actually call our custom action to generate uh, PDF. So we have here logo. I will use uh, APX4 logo. Uh, I have it prepared. For this demo, so I will use APX4 logo. I will use APX4 company address. So test address. Okay, and now we have created. I will use uh, global properties current time uh, date time format. I want. We can use different formats. For example, this format. Let's let's place it like this. And items we will use app state products. Confirm. Output variables we'll call it generated recipe. Generated recipe. Okay. So now we have this generate PDF action set. And what we will do next? We want to show preview of our generated receipt. Uh, so we will create a uh, variable PDF URL and we'll name it as a string, we'll create it as a string. And now here, here in our, in our page, when we click and generate PDF, after this, we will update app state, set PDF URL to our 
action output generated adresse. Okay. Okay. Uh, ah, sorry. Okay, data structure field link. So link will contain our PDF URL. And what we want to do next, we want to go to your next page, to invoice page. It's called invoice, but actually I will show receipt there. So I have this invoice page, and here I will uh, set my parse of app state PDF URL to preview it here. Great, we set template inside of uh, APX4, we integrated code inside Flutterflow, and now we have our uh, project prepared to test it and to see how it works. So let's start it. As you can see, my uh, application loaded in debug mode, and now I can I have here my products, and I can click checkout and see my receipt here. So it created, it works very fast. As you can see, a receipt is in this form that I put uh, a <laughs> very long page that I put into my PDF settings, and it's narrow like receipt, so you easily can manipulate and change page size, change uh, margins and etc. And what is great, you can actually change here settings. You, for example, can go and have uh, a four format, you can save it, you can publish it, and we don't need to reintegrate. We just will restart our application for a moment because I don't mind back function. So now I click check out, and as you can see, it shows me updated PDF uh, in new page format. So it's very easy to manipulate uh, layout of PDFs in APX flow, to change layout, to send data, to present the data in different um, different form, to calculate even data uh, for your required uh, for your requirements. And I hope this will help you to implement even more powerful projects, more powerful applications. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Also, please like this video if you find it helpful. Suggest a new videos, uh, request new features for PDF. We will gladly, gladly uh, consider any, any suggestions. And thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.